Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. Now we are going to talk about very important concept in Oracle Fusion Cloud. Whether it is in financials or supply chain management, we will be using this conversions in a regular method. First, we'll discuss what is conversion, what are different uh, ways of loading the data into the applications by using these different tools, and what are the steps we'll follow for a PDA. So basically, whenever the clients are using some legacy systems, legacy system is nothing but other systems. Maybe our client is using plain MS Excel, or MS Access, Microsoft Access, or any other system, any other ERP product, any other custom application your client might be using last five years or 10 years, and they are entering the data in those uh, systems, either accounts, or invoices, or suppliers, or customers, or sales orders, or purchase orders, or accounting transactions, any data, whatever they have entered in the legacy system, they have in their database, in the legacy database. Now, the client wants to implement this Oracle Fusion Cloud for their business. If we implement Oracle Fusion Cloud today, from today onwards, we can go for enter the transactions directly from the front end. We can log into the applications and we can go for enter the data directly from the front end. What about the history data? What about last five years data? Whatever the data we have in legacy systems. So that data now client wants to move into the Oracle. Now the client says that he want to move this legacy system data into Oracle also. In that scenario, we cannot simply copy and paste our existing data into Oracle system tables. So whatever the data or your client has entered so far, last five years or 10 years data in another system, that we cannot just copy paste from legacy systems into Oracle Fusion applications. What we have to do, we have to follow some process. We have to follow some process. That process we call it as, that process we call it as a conversion. That process we call it as conversion. So what is conversion? Conversion is nothing but transfer the data from legacy systems into Oracle applications with validations, with validations. Okay, so whenever you want to go for convert the data into Oracle, first we have to verify the data is valid or not. And once it is valid, we can go for either insert or create that records into our uh, process. Okay, so this entire process, we call it as a conversions. We call it as a conversions. Okay, so this process is converting a legacy system data into Oracle format and inserting those records into Oracle. We call it as a conversion. We call it as a conversion. So what are the different methods we have in Fusion applications? So whenever we are working in Fusion applications, what are the different methods we have for data conversion? First one, we have spreadsheet data loader. First one, we have spreadsheet data loader. By using spreadsheet data loader, we can go for load the data directly into our Fusion applications. Whenever you want to work with the spreadsheet data loader, you have to install this software called ADFDI, ADF Desktop Integrator, ADF desktop integrator. The software we have to install in our local system and we have to go for connect to the application. So whatever the spreadsheet we have downloaded that we are going to enter. And once we enter the data, then it's going to be connected and load the data into the applications. Then the second one is FBDA, file-based data loader. What is FBDA? FBDA is used to load the data into Fusion applications. What is the difference between spreadsheet data loader and FBDA? Spreadsheet data loader will directly load the data into the applications. And your spreadsheet itself is going to do the validation and it's going to upload into the base tables. When it comes for FBDA, we have to run two programs. In FBDA, we have to run two programs. One program to load the data from your Excel sheet templates into interface table another program to load the data from interface tables to base tables. 
So we will have a flexibility here to run these programs either from Fusion applications or we can schedule these programs or we can call these programs from another integration tool called OICS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. From there on also we can go for call these programs and we can go for integrate. So there is more flexibility when you want to write some coding. If technical developer wants to make some changes or you want to run programs, then FBDA will be used. In spreadsheet data loader, we don't find that option. The moment when you download the template spreadsheet and open this, it will ask you the credentials of the application, enter those credentials, enter the data and spreadsheet itself, it will validate. It won't allow you the invalid data. Make sure that your data is clean and already validated and it will allow you to go for enter the data and it's going to throw the error message. Then FBDA, you will have a flexibility to go for or run these programs, schedule the programs and call these programs from some other integration tools. That's FBDA. And another one is you can go for use the REST or SOAP APIs. In case if you do not have the FBDA facility or spreadsheet data loader facility, then we can also use the REST or SOAP APIs to integrate. API stands for Application Programming Interface. Whenever you want to exchange the data between the applications, we will be using REST or SOAP APIs in web services. If your client is using all our web applications, between the web applications, if you want to exchange the data, either load or extract, then we will be using SOAP or REST APIs. Here it is. So these are three different methods we will be using for data conversions in Oracle Cloud Fusion, whether it is financials or supply chain management. Okay, so here functional consultant can involve in spreadsheet and FBDA, but technical developers will be working with the rest of SOAP APIs. Of course, the technical persons can work even spreadsheet and FBDA also, but as a functional consultant, Data loading is not my responsibility. That's we cannot say in, when we are working in the cloud projects because Oracle has given more flexibility and easy method for data loading by using the spreadsheet option and by using FBDA templates, by using FBDA templates. Okay, so now we are talking about what is FBDA? What is FBDA? FBDA stands for file-based data import file-based data import. It is one of the many ways in Oracle Fusion Cloud to do the conversions. As we discussed in our previous slide, multiple ways we have for data loading. In that, this is one of the way. In human capital management separate, I'm not mentioning the human capital management. That's why I'm telling finance and supply chain management. In human capital management, that is different. There we will be using HCM data loaders. There we have payroll data loaders, HDL, PDL, PBL, payroll batch loaders. Like that, we have different options. Okay. But only in finance and supply chain management, we will be having this FBDA options. Okay. So FBDA stands for file-based data import. File-based data import in, in cloud environment is the best way to get a mass upload in case if you have some more records in a short time you want to go for upload, we will be using this particular FBD. So what are the stages we will follow whenever we are working with the FBDA option? When we are working with the FBDA option, the first thing is we need to download the FBDA template, which is provided by Oracle. For example, you want to upload suppliers data, then Oracle has provided the template. You want to upload suppliers address, supplier sites, supplier site assignments and supplier contacts, then supplier qualifications, our customer's data, our journal's data, our invoices data, or you want to go for upload uh, purchase orders data. Like that, for every component, almost Oracle has provided this FBDA template, FBDA templates. So first we have to download that template. Once we download that template, we need to prepare the data for the template. We are supposed to prepare the data for those templates. So whatever the template we have downloaded, we need to fill the data. 
or we can go for copy paste the data from other Excel sheet, whatever you receive from legacy like systems. Then we have to go for generate the zip files and uh, CSV files. Once we prepare the CSV file, stands for comma separated file, we have to zip that file. Once we zip that file, it will be stored in your local vision. You have to upload it to the server, UCM, Universal Content Management, UCM server. You have to upload that file into the UCM server, into the particular path. You cannot place the file uh, in, in any path. Exactly, we have to place where Oracle has specified. For example, if you want to load suppliers data, Oracle will mention you have to keep your suppliers zip file in PRC slash suppliers slash import. There we are supposed to place our zip file. Like that, we'll go for upload this file. Once we upload this zip file into the server, then we'll move the data into the interface tables. We'll run the program. When you run the program, interface program, that will load the data from zip files into your interface tables. Their system will check the data is valid or not as for the format. Then after that, we have to run the program to load the data from interface tables to base tables. So two programs we have to execute here. One is to load the data from your uh, zip files into interface tables. Another program is to load the data from interface tables to base tables. Interface tables stores the data temporarily during the data processing. Once the data is completed successfully, your interface table is going to be empty or your interface table is going to have the records with error status in case if there are some records rejected. And then obviously you will find with error status. Okay. Then we will go for parts the data from, in the, in, from the interface tables or we'll try to update that and go for again load it. Okay. So then we will run the standard program to load the data from interface tables to base tables. These are the different stages we are going to use whenever we are working with the MBDA process. It's a standard process. When you work for any MBDA process, this procedure we have to follow. Whether you work for journals, you work for invoice, you work for supplier, customer, item, sales order, purchase order, requisition, item, transaction, any component, the procedure is same. Okay, so if we look at here, the standard process is given by the Oracle. First, we have to download the file imports template. It's like a previous slide, what we have discussed. It was text, now it is having a little bit uh, uh, diagram part. Download the file import template from Oracle documentation. Prepare the data file using the template. Once you prepare, then upload file to UCM server, universal content management, and load the data into the interface table. So you have to run the program here. It will load the data from your zip file into your interface tables. Once we have a data in the interface tables, for example, you've got some errors here. Okay, so if there are no errors, your data will be imported from interface tables to next level base tables. If you don't have any errors, data loaded successfully into the product tables or base tables. Whenever you have errors, for example, when you are loading the data into the interface itself, you got some errors. Then again, you have to load these errors into the interface tables. You have to rectify those errors information. And again, we have to go back. Again, we have to upload the zip file and execute the process. See, errors. When we say errors are there, yes. Then again, you have to purge your interface tables. Again, you have to correct your data in your data file. Parsing is nothing but a delete. You have to delete the data from interface table because in interface table, there are some errors. When you load the data from your data file to interface table, if you don't have errors, no problem. You can continue and load the data from interface tables to base tables. Here also, if you don't have any errors, no issue, data loaded successfully into the product tables or base tables. But when it comes for when it comes for errors, in case if you have any errors here, you need to go for load the process. This purging the data in the interface table means delete the data 
because already errored out, right? We have to delete, correct your data file. Whatever the data file you have in your local mission, you need to correct that data file. Again, upload that latest data file into server. Again, we have to proceed. Okay, so whenever you have some errors here, for example, while working from uh, interface tables to base tables here, if you find any errors, you need to correct the data in interface table by using ADF spreadsheet. By using ADF spreadsheet, you can go for correct that data and then go for again import the process. So this is a standard procedure we have to follow. We have to follow. If we do it one example, then it will be simple. It's not much complex. It's very simple. Okay. So thank you. Let's go for uh, one example. We can do it. This is about the template. I'll upload this template. You can go for download this and you will be able to go through the steps. Thank you.